Localization, both cultural and linguistic, is important in technology because it increases the access of different communities to the, this space of technology which has a growing significance in the development world. Now, the problem is that when we do not use specific languages in the technology and people feel that there is no use for them, then they start making a shift from their own language towards the dominant language that might open different doors for them. Now, David Crystal, a highly recognized linguist, uh, in his 2000 book, um, talks about six factors that might help endangered languages. So, we talked about localization in Pakistan is being done in the major languages, which is a good sign. This will help the revitalization of uh, Urdu. Also, um, for instance, new terms will be coined so that the language is able to take up the challenges of explaining the knowledge systems that were earlier only described and discussed in English language, for instance. This will also restore the status of the community, a large number of people who speak Urdu and are not very well versant in uh, English language. And of course, it also creates equitable access to information system. But please remember that since uh, this is only restricted to Urdu and to a lesser degree in Sindhi in terms of localization, so this equity that we talk about is still restricted to to few to a fraction of the population. David Crystal talks about how languages can be endangered and how they can die out with time. When a language dies out with time and when it becomes endangered, then actually the whole identity of the community also becomes endangered and it dies out um, over time. And then this community tries desperately to identify themselves as somebody they are not. So it has long-reaching impact in terms of cultural laws. Um, a lot of problems come from there because indigenous culture has reservoirs of indigenous knowledge that that is sort of um, a strategy to answer the problems that they face in a given environment. All that is lost over time. So David Crystal talks about six factors that can help us stop endangered languages from dying out. So the first one is if the prestige of the community in relation to the the, the, the dominant community is restored. They have some access to social networkings. Their language is not looked down upon. Then they, these uh, languages may not become endangered and they might choose to maintain their language. Similarly, if there is a relative increase in their wealth in relation to the dominant group, and people feel that their own language is not a burden and does not stop or hinder their way to upward socio-economic mobility, they will maintain their language. Third, if they have an increase in the legitimate power they enjoy in relation to the dominant group, then even they will seek to maintain their languages. So by legitimate power, we can mean several things. We can mean this having a voice, that is, that if I speak in, uh, in a regional language, may it be Hinko, it will be given as much importance as I speak in Urdu or I speak in English. So if I am given this right to be heard, is not um, uh, if affected by my language or my local language, then I will seek to maintain my language. Similarly, if my language or if a communal language is present in an education system, 
then even those languages will not die out. So the say the importance that the educational system gives to regional languages or the la local languages are absolutely important for the uh, maintenance of the languages. Then if the uh, if a community is able to write their language that is if a language is present in a written form rather than just in the oral form then also it stops them from being endangered or from dying out over time. And the sixth important um, point that David Crystal points out is that if a language has been given a space in the, the techno in technology, in electronic technology, then even those languages are saved from being uh, endangered. Because if there is a certain kind of development that is sort of like so overwhelming and it, it is involved in all our lives, private and public alike, then if a language is being used there, both in private and public spaces, then it, there is less likelihood of those languages to die out.